Hey kids! In today's video, we will be learning about volcanic eruption. Are you ready? Let's begin! Volcanic eruptions occur when magma rises to the surface. This can happen due to various reasons, such as the movement of tectonic plates, changes in pressure, or the release of gases. When the pressure from the magma exceeds the strength of the surrounding rock, it leads to an eruption. During an eruption, magma, gases, and volcanic ash are expelled from the vent of the volcano. The severity of the eruption can vary greatly, ranging from relatively mild lava flows to explosive eruptions that release vast amounts of ash and gases into the atmosphere. Volcanic eruptions can have significant impacts on the environment. These include the formation of new land, destruction of ecosystems, and alteration of climate patterns due to the release of ash and gases into the atmosphere. They can also pose dangers to human populations living near volcanoes, including the risk of ash fall, lava flows, pyroclastic flows, and lahars. Scientists study volcanic eruptions to better understand the processes behind them and mitigate their potential hazards. Now here are fun facts about volcanic eruptions. Lava versus Magma The molten rock beneath the Earth's surface is called magma. Once it reaches the surface, it's referred to as lava. Volcanic Lightning during some volcanic eruptions, lightning is produced within the volcanic plume. This phenomenon, known as volcanic lightning, occurs due to the buildup of static electricity. Volcanic ash and air travel Volcanic ash clouds can pose serious hazards to aircraft engines, as the ash particles can melt inside the engines and cause them to fail. Volcanic islands Many of the world's islands, including Hawaii, Iceland, and the Galapagos Islands are formed by volcanic activity. Over time, repeated eruptions build up layers of volcanic material, eventually creating land masses. Volcanic Lakes Some volcanic craters contain lakes formed by rainwater or groundwater collecting in the crater. These lakes can be acidic or even boiling hot due to geothermal activity beneath the surface. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about volcanic eruptions today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon!